Hi, I'm Dr. James Loden at Loden Vision Centers. This is Dr. Terry Doherty, Director of Corneal Services for Loden Vision Centers. And we're here with Angela, and Angela's getting a bladeless custom PRK treatment performed today. We want to show you start to finish how simple, how easy PRK is. PRK stands for photorefractive keratectomy. A couple of facts about PRK. PRK was the first eczema laser vision correction procedure approved by the FDA. It was the first procedure approved by the military for enlisted personnel. It was also the first procedure approved by the military for fighter pilots, aviation division, and special forces. Even though iLASIK is now available for special forces in aviation, 60% of the pilots still choose PRK. The reason is it's such a safe procedure. The only downside to the PRK is the slower healing time. When you, it's the exact same laser we use with custom LASIK, exact same treatment. It's just we're treating on the surface of the eye instead of making a LASIK flap. All right, Angela, Dr. Doherty's getting you all centered in here. We're setting fluence on the laser. There's gonna be a blinking red light here. All we're gonna need you to do today is stay focused on that blinking light. The laser and the doctors are gonna take care of everything else for you. Very good. And what we're doing is just getting focused on, in on initially is the surface of the cornea. And as you can see, you may see this little reflection. That's the blinking red light that Angela is fixating on. Dr. Doherty is going to place a fixation ring on the eye. We're going to place some medicine on the eye that actually loosens the cells on the surface of the cornea up. This is called the corneal epithelium. And with PRK, you want to take these epithelial cells off so that yeah. you're treating directly on the surface of the cornea called Bowman's membrane and the stroma. We're going to leave this medicine in place for just about 15 to 20 seconds, 20. irrigate it off, and then Dr. Doherty is going to use a blunt instrument to just gently lift these cells off the surface of the cornea. And we're just going to gently lift these cells up. This procedure is really popular as well with people in extreme sports. If you're a kickboxer, mixed martial arts, a professional boxer, this is definitely the procedure for you, for you over LASIK. Even though LASIK's approved, as I've said, for special forces guys, the Army still prefers PRK for its operators. You can see there's no knives, no blades in any form or fashion. So what we're doing now is cutting our eye tracker on. You're going to get centration. And what we're looking at now is the laser is automatically aligning Angela's astigmatism. It's centering the laser on the pupil. And it remembers little crypts, little bumps in the iris so that it perfectly centers and realigns the custom treatment. Dr. Doherty, we're all good to go. Walking already, 35 seconds. This is a 35 second total treatment time. Angela, you're doing a wonderful job focusing on the blinking red light. You're holding nice and still. One of the nice things about this Visex IR laser is it's tracking Angela's eye 250 times per second. If at any time Angela coughs, sneezes, moves for any reason, the laser's going to automatically cut itself off and will automatically resume the treatment where it left off once tracking resumed. Just a couple of seconds left, Angela. Complete. Wonderful. So the next step we're going to do, the treatment's already done, but we're going to put medicine called mitomycin on the eye for 30 seconds. This improves the healing of the eye. If you look on the internet, there's a lot of reports of haze with PRK. If you use mitomycin on the eye, you won't have haze issues with PRK. So this greatly improves the recovery time decreases the no, amount of time that you have to use post-operative steroid drops. The next step is we're going to put a protective contact lens on the eye. This is not for any visual purposes. It has no visual effect, the contact lens. It simply provides better comfort as the epithelial cells are growing across the front surface of the eye. Once the contact lens is, contact lens is in position, we're going to place some drops on the eye. It's going to be a steroid drop, an antibiotic drop to prevent infection, and a drop called a non-steroidal, which is basically like liquid aspirin for the eye that improves the comfort. 
And we are all done with Angela's right eye surgery. She did absolutely fantastic.